Morning guys, I'm coming to you with another live today as part of the challenge and now we are on day 17. Um, so today's video I'm going to speak about how you can actually sell for less so that you can actually get more in terms of revenue. So what do I mean by that? So basically I see a lot of people uh, online when they start selling something and I'll use the example of an ebook. Um, you know, very often that ebook will be priced at something like, you know, ten dollars, twenty dollars, thirty dollars, uh, which is fine, you know, they might be getting sales from that. But the issue is that say for example that you've got a ten dollar ebook and you wanna sell uh something where you wanna get revenue for a total amount of a thousand dollars. Basically what that means is then you have to sell a hundred ten dollar books in order for you to get a thousand dollars in revenue so it's possible but from experience and from what I've seen online it takes a very long time to try and get a hundred people to buy ten books um, there has to be some kind of incentive obviously for those people to buy something that is of ten dollars and ironically actually um, you know when people go online and they find something which is of real value and, and the price is quite low. You know, they start to question why is the price so low? Uh, it's, it's actually quite a psychological uh, er thing that I've noticed, you know, online. So what I would say is it's actually more effective to sell something which is probably priced at, you know, let's say $500. So say, for example, you're aiming to close $1,000 in revenue, then it would probably be better if you could actually sell two products or services that are worth $500 each so that you get $1,000 immediately as opposed to having something where you're selling you know, a lot more, you're trying to sell a lot more. So in the example where you're selling maybe hundreds of $10 eBooks. Um, so what you need to look at is, and this is where I've spoken about obviously your, your sales funnel. So just to summarize, the sales funnel basically is where you've got a sales process, a tiered process where people enter, you know, your your product or service through a front end, front end product, which could possibly be priced at something lower, say, you know, to give an example, a hundred dollars, and then as they come in in the back end, you've got a process where you know you sort of upscale them to something which is probably you know a little a little more priced, uh, maybe something to the effect of two hundred fifty, five hundred dollars, and then obviously much higher where they go to something which is, um, you know, maybe a thousand dollars, etc. So, essentially, what I would suggest is that if you're trying to make revenue online, you want to sort of focus on products or services that potentially are a lot easier to access but have a lot of value. So, this is where you'll have, you know, your consulting-based products, your information-based products, your digital products. So, digital products are obviously things you can download but are really valuable. So it makes a lot more sense if you've got something that is, you know, priced uh, to the extent of, you know, something about $250. So if say, for example, you are someone that is trying to aim to make, you know, $3,000 a month, it makes a lot more sense if you have something that is priced at the value of $500 and you can get six people to buy that and you make your three thousand dollars whereas opposed to you trying to sell something which is you know let's say to the value of ten dollars that means in order for you to close three thousand dollars in revenue you have to sell basically to three hundred people and i can tell you it's a lot harder to sell to three hundred people online in one month as opposed to selling to six people online who will possibly buy a five hundred dollar product so this is where your marketing needs to be very focused very niche uh, your product obviously has to have value in order for you to price it at something to the value of $500. Obviously, if there's no value in it and people find it's not really that valuable, they don't pay that $500 and obviously they're not going to buy your product. So that is why it's critical to find something where, you know, if you're looking to start a business online and you want to sell something or perhaps you want to offer services, maybe you're a consultant in a specific field, um, you know, you're very specialized in that field and, and, and you have specialized knowledge that people are looking for. There's no reason why you can't offer some kind of service where it's either a consulting service, perhaps, um, you know, they can buy your consulting services for an hour and maybe you charge, you know, something to the likes of $500, you know, whatever it is. But 
you don't want to be charging something where it's like fifty dollars an hour because then you're actually wasting your time you know your time is valuable so you've got to make sure that what you're offering as your service is something that is seen as value and that is why if people see there's value in your product or service then there's no reason or hesitation for them not to pay something to the likes of five hundred dollars etc so that is how you can actually sell less in order to make more so that you actually start closing higher target revenues online and and you obviously are able to sustain that because then people will obviously be looking for your specialized service or product or whatever it is that you're trying to sell online so it's just a tip i wanted to share um, you know it's something that when i first started online i thought it was quite useful and people used to uh, struggle to you know sell things like ebooks which are really priced low I mean to sell something for five dollars ten dollars you know it actually doesn't make sense especially online where you've got access to a global market so it makes more sense to try and utilize or maximize that opportunity to make more revenue and um, like I said people will will buy from you if your product or service has value and they will be willing to pay that kind of amount uh, which I've sort of indicated. So I just want to see who's on. Uh, Fatima, hey, good to see you here. Uh, thanks for joining me on this live. I know it's very early in the morning, but this is probably the best time for me because I get free time to actually do it now. So guys, hopefully this is something you find. Um, like I always encourage you in all my videos, please share this with someone who perhaps will find value in this in this content. And what I do also do is I do sort of keep a copy of this video on my YouTube channel. Um, you can search for me, my full name, Sadat Bauer, and you should be able to find my YouTube channel. And I also keep a copy of this on my blog, which is SadatBauer.com. So if for any reason you have missed this or you want to share this, you can either share this live video, you can share my YouTube video of this, or you could obviously share the blog post of this video, which will be put up after this. So. Thank you and I will see you in another live video. Take care. Bye.